fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals through the length and breadth of seven states. No one could match his courage, his strength, and resourcefulness. And his name has come down to us through the generations as the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on! Silver! We're heading for Kirkwood! Hello, Silver! Away! Tonto, the Lone Ranger's faithful Indian companion, was waiting to purchase supplies in the general store at Kirkwood when the sheriff called to him. Hey, you! Turn around! What's the matter? That's our business. You ever seen this engine before, Ben? Uh, I kind of think I have. Hanging around your place? Well, as to that, Sheriff, I couldn't say. Maybe I've seen him before, and maybe I haven't. But if I have, I couldn't tell you where. Well, it don't matter. You've seen him before, though, huh? I'm sure he's the one. What'd you say your name was? Bud Lennox. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Most everywhere. I just kind of wander around, work when I can, and ride the grub line when I can. Cowboy, huh? Sure. What were you doing outside Ben's place the other night? I just meant to ride by. I stopped because I wondered what was going on. Uh-huh. And you sure this is the hombre you seen sneak out and ride away? Wait a second. What kind of horse you ride, Injun? Me ride paint horse. That yours outside? Uh. Well, Sheriff, that's all I wanted to know. You can't always tell one redskin from another, especially at night. But you've seen that paint horse. Reckon anybody could mistake it? Not unless they was blind. All right, Injun, start marching. What matter? Night before last, Ben's place was busted open and robbed. This gent seen you, so you're under arrest. In the meantime, at the Craig home, Molly Craig and Brad Wallace were facing Mrs. Craig. Mother... Why don't you like Brad? <laughs> but, Molly, I do. Then why do you say we shouldn't get married? Molly, I'm afraid you've deliberately misunderstood me. Brad, I admire you very much. I'd be very sorry if anything I say convinced you I didn't. Sure, ma'am. You can talk straight out. I, I reckon I'll understand. How much money have you? <laughs> ma'am, you're right embarrassing. Every dollar I got is right here in my pants pocket. If I had one less, I couldn't make the two of them jingle. I thought as much. Money isn't everything. Sometimes it's a great deal. You've never talked this way before. You've never thought of marriage before. Well, I don't see why. Evidently, you... there are a number of things you don't see. Brad, I want you to look at this as I do. We've never been wealthy, but we've always had more than enough. Molly isn't used to doing without things. But, Mother, I don't mean that you couldn't, dear, but... 
You're not accustomed to it. I wouldn't complain. Of course not. But silence isn't a proof of happiness. Oh, nothing I say is right. Molly, don't get cross. Let your ma have her say. Ma'am, somehow I don't believe you're really a Guinness. Thank you, Brad. I'm not. But you're objecting just the same. Is it because I was married before? Is that it? No. Is it on the corner, Jean? No, it isn't. In fact, if anything could persuade me to give my consent, it would be your daughter. She's at the age when she needs someone to mother her. She and Molly get along together splendidly. I believe they'd be good for each other. Then what in tonk it is wrong? What I've said before, money. But I've got a homestead. I got my health. I ain't lazy. I won't always be broke. Well, then wait until you have a better start. I tell you that... Believe me, Brad, I'm trying to advise you wisely. You're both young. You can go on seeing each other. I'll not put any obstacles in the way. But wait until you have a thousand or so in the bank. Wait until you have a little security. Yeah, a thousand's an awful lot, ma'am. That is cash is these days. Well, I, I didn't mean that literally. Just prove to me that you can give my daughter the right kind of a home, and I'll ask nothing more. You're happy now. And I want to make sure that living from day to day, from hand to mouth, doesn't destroy your happiness. Well, maybe you're right, ma'am, but doggone if I can see it that way. You will when you've had my experience. But what if I tell you I'll marry Brad without your permission, Mother? What would you say to that? Well, then, dear, I'd wish you both every good thing in the world. But I'd feel that I'd fail to earn my daughter's respect. Mother, I didn't mean that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, but... Oh, I don't know what's right. Well, then take time to think it over. Sure, Molly. That won't hurt us. Oh, what else can we do? You won't be sorry for it. Oh, Brad, there's Jean. You must have told her you'd be here. <laughs> if I hadn't, she'd have guessed it. Brad, you shouldn't let her run like that. If she fell, she'd hurt us. Hey, you try making her stop. Is Pa here? Say, hey, youngin', what are you... Pa! They've got Tano. They've got Tano and they put him in jail. What's what? that? Tonto? Who in the world is that? Who? Just one of the two fellas I owe my life to, that's all. Molly, i got to leave you. I'll see you later. But where are you going? To the jailhouse. I've been wanting to pay him back part of what they've done for me. And maybe here's my chance. Them? Who does he mean? Tonto, Mother, and, and the masked man. Masked man? Yes, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Brad did not go directly to the jail. He stopped for almost an hour at the cafe. And when he finally entered the office of the sheriff, he had all the information he needed to carry out a plan. Howdy, Sheriff. Oh, hello there, Brad. Come in. Oh, thanks. Last fellow I looked to see. Thought you had enough of this place. That's what I thought. Something I can do for you? I hear you've jailed a redskin. Uh-huh. And got him out back. Know him? Well, I, I don't know. That don't tell me you had something stole from you. Oh, no. And what's on your mind, Brad? Don't want to sound unsociable, but I'm kind of busy. I just came to tell you you've jailed the wrong fella. What's that? You'll have to let him go. Oh, wait. Hold on. Don't get ahead of yourself. Brad, I got a witness that seen the engine coming out of Ben's house. He's as guilty as old get out. I ain't locked up that red skin just on suspicion. Then there's been a mistake. There couldn't have been. But I tell you, there was. What makes you think you know anything about it? I know all about huh? it. Huh? Sheriff? It was me that robbed Ben. I've come to give myself up. Unaware that Brad owed Tonto a debt of gratitude and convinced that the young homesteader would not have confessed to a crime he had not committed, the sheriff reluctantly freed Tonto and locked up Brad. That night, Tonto told his masked friend what had happened. We made no mistake when we helped Brad Kimasabe. How many men are there who would have done what he did? Mm, there are not many. One out of a thousand, maybe. Ah. And you did wisely when you didn't object, Tonto. It'll be easier for me to prove Brad innocent with you to help me than to prove you innocent with Brad's help. We're used to each other's ways. Ah. There's just one thing I don't like about it. What that? I was making progress on that bank robbery at Kiowa City. I think in a few days I could have found the fellow who held it up. If I leave that to help Brad, he may be able to make good his escape. Mm, that'd be bad. It's a pretty big thing. The authorities have posted a $5,000 reward. The bank claims to have lost more than $200,000. Mm. Well, it can't be helped, Hunter. The reward means nothing to us. Only... What matter? I suspect Molly and Brad wish to get married. I'd hope to manage it so Brad could collect the reward. It would have been a great start for them. Ah. 
Well, we won't talk about it. Tonto, how about this fellow Bud Lennox? The fellow who claimed he saw you leave the Hoffman house the other night. You ever seen him before? Mm, me not see him. You were sure he couldn't be someone we'd sent to jail in the past? Someone who'd choose this way to get even? Mm, that not it. I don't understand it. He positively identified you and Scout, so he must have been lying. But if he doesn't know us, what's his motive? Maybe him break in house. Draw attention to himself by accusing someone else? Uh. I don't think so. You say he'd never been seen in Kirkwood before today, huh? Not right. And if he were guilty, he would never come back. No one saw him that night. He could have ridden on and no one the wiser. Uh-huh. Here, Silver. You ride again? Yes, Tonto. Into town. What do you do? It seems to me that Lennox went out of his way to accuse you. We won't get to the bottom of this until we find out why. And me go too? No, Kimasabi. Stay here. You won't be needed. Uh-huh. When it's time for action, you'll know it. Yep. Come on, old fellow. Come on. The authorities at Kiowa City had been as active in investigating the recent bank robbery as the Lone Ranger had been. Sheriff Hudson, following every lead, called on the sheriff at Kirkwood. The latter cheerfully cooperated with his brother lawman and... So you think the hombre you're after had it this way, huh? Well, I don't know. I'm just what you might call fishing. I figure if I cast fur enough and long enough, one of these days it'll get a bite. Well, I'm <laughs> wishing you luck. Them fellas ready to talk to yet? Mm, won't be long. My deputy will tell us when they're rounded up. Ain't but three or four strangers around town now that I know of. Uh-huh. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Just the drifters on hand. That's right. <laughs> You'd have a hot time questioning everybody. Don't figure it'd get me any place anyway. The way I see it, this job was done by one of them tough gun hands that are always drifting. They got to. They're always getting in trouble. The man I want ain't one of the settlers. You're likely right. Uh-huh. Figure to be. I think this is him. Good. Go right ahead in, boys. Well, here they are, Sheriff. Thanks. Look here. What's the idea of this? Can't a fella take a sociable drink without being drugged to the sheriff's office? You ain't got nothing on me. What do you want me for? Yeah, idea what you come in? Don't go on it. Shut What's up. What's the idea? Anyway? Ain't no charge against any of you. And as far as I know, there won't be. We just brought you here to answer some questions. What about? Who are you? What do you care? Don't get hot-headed in here. Or we'll cool you off. Well, what do you want? Answer the question I ask you. What's your name? Pete Nemo. Well, Pete, where was you last Thursday night? Over by Red Gap. Oh. You can prove it? How do I know? I didn't tell nobody to keep me in mind in case the law got to asking fool questions. Hmm. Well, I'll get back to you later. Well, what's your name? Bud Lennox. Where was you? He ain't the man you want, Hudson. If I'd have told my deputy why you wanted him, he wouldn't have bothered with this fella. He was here Thursday night. Yeah? Uh-huh. We had a robbery ourselves that night. Bud seen it. Oh. He couldn't have been two places to once. Uh, reckon you can go, Bud. Thanks, Sheriff. Well, it's just one of you left. What was Blast your... you can go to blazes. I ain't answering questions for nobody. Now, nobody's accusing you. Say the talk. You're wasting your time. Nobody wants this fella's name. Calls yourself Beth Fletcher, Sheriff. All right, you know my handle. What good's it going to do you? You don't aim to say where you was Thursday night? Not now or any time. You heard what I told Pete here when he got fresh. You can't tell me anything. Why, bless If you want your... trouble, just hold reach for it. it. That's fine. I said hold it. What's the use of a fight? We ain't got nothing on Bat and he knows it. If you want to answer questions, don't it look suspicious? Well, that's his own affair. You just bet it is. Then clear out of here. I don't need no second invite. Wait. Well, that's not an order to leave town. Maybe there's nothing on you, but you try it and you'll find yourself behind bars, whether there is or not. When you come for me, you better have your hardware handy. For two cents, I'd have knocked his ears down. Well, what do you think? Mm, Bat Fletcher, eh? Ain't that what you said? Uh, that's what they call him at the cafe, Sheriff. Well, that hombre will bear watching. Oh, The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger raced back to the hidden camp where Tonto was waiting for him. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, that who? Oh. What? what happened? Tonto called, Scout. Here, Scout. I found out plenty in town, Kimasabi. Uh-huh. Now we have work to do. Let's go. Uh-huh. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come on. Early the following morning, Molly Craig saw Brad at the jail. Gosh, I'm glad to see you, honey. Brad, huh? no one can hear us. Tell me the truth. You didn't break into Ben's house, did you? Molly, what do you think? I, I know you didn't. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't go back on me. But I'll bet a heap your ma's plenty mad. She isn't. No? Not after I explained what Tonto and the masked men had done for us. She says she's proud of you. Doggone, Molly, if your ma ain't one of the best. But you look here. Yes? Don't you and your ma go around town saying I ain't guilty. The sheriff any, ain't any more than half convinced it was me, Rob Ben, as it is. You start him to thinking he's likely to go looking for Tonto again. Brad, could could Tonto be guilty? Huh? I mean, uh, well, there's that cowboy who claimed he saw him. Do you think that... Gosh, to tell the truth, I never thought of that part of it at all. I don't believe Tonto's a thief. Shucks, I reckon I don't either. But that ain't really any of our business. I wouldn't turn again him and his part no matter what they done. How did you make the sheriff believe you when he had a witness? <laughs> By using my head. Before I looked up the sheriff, I stopped at the cafe to hear the gossip. By the time I got here, I knew all about it. Yes? My horse is a pain, so that part was easy. And knowing this here Bud Lennox claimed to have seen a redskin, I told the sheriff as how I disguised myself. <laughs> he sure didn't want to believe it, but he just couldn't savvy anybody trying to go to jail a purpose. You won't be sorry for what you've done, Brad. I know you won't. No, Molly, I won't. I guess by now Tonto's told the masked fella about what I've done. Likely he's trying to figure a way to get me out. Of course he is. But whether he does or not, I still won't have no complaints. I don't know what they'll give me for this, but I'm still remembering that once I was sentenced to jail for life for what I didn't do, Tonto and the masked man got me out of that. This don't even begin to make things even. I wish there was something I could do. Now, Molly, don't you go to feeling like that. You just look after Jean again and that'll be plenty. Say, I... What's the matter? Oh. You won't stay here, Brad. The mess, man. You shouldn't have come here if you're seen. The sheriff isn't around, and Tom is talking to the deputy. No one knows I'm here. But, but you can't stay here. you got to get out. I will when I'm ready. I came to tell you not to worry. I know the truth about all of this, and you're going to help me prove it. But how? Watch out. Raise your hands. Don't reach for them guns. Sheriff, you can't. Be you... still. Now face around, mister. What? Great land of Goshen. Remember me, Sheriff? You. Why, you were the masked fellow that caught Snyder. You were the hombre proved Brad never killed Tom Craig. Right. So that's it. Huh? Brad, you almost had me fooled. Fool? What do you mean? You think I don't know who this hombre is? Well, you just He's the Lone Ranger. Forget what I said, stranger. You ain't under arrest. But sure. And Brad... You ain't either. Doggone it, I am too. <laughs> you just think you are. But I ain't as simple as I maybe look. Now come out of there and make room for somebody needs to be locked up. Sheriff, you're loco. Think I don't know the masked fella's got a red skin pard? I don't... And you think I can't see through what you've done? You lied to get him loose. You figure you owed it to him. What I ought to do is keep you jailed for tricking me. But I'd sure feel small arresting the feller just for being grateful. Stranger? Yes? I know you're all right. Even Judge Thornton swears by you. But this ought to teach you a lesson. You think so? I think you put too much faith in that redskin. From now on, you better keep that in mind. I agree with you that Brad isn't guilty. Sure he ain't. But neither is Tonto. I'd expect you to say that, mister, seeing as how he's your friend. Before the day's over, I'll prove I'm right. Maybe so. But in the meantime, I think I'll hold on to Tonto just to be sure. You know where he is? Uh-huh. In front of the feed store talking to my deputy. And you plan to arrest him again? Oh, I got to. He... Hey, hey! Open that cell. You bet. You let go. Take these keys. In with you. You let go. I'll pick for this. Get out. Molly, get home. Brad, you're coming with me. <laughs> Oh, 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 
it. Move, 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 move it. Move. This is where we part. Uh, so what are we to do? Tata knows. Take orders from him. And you? I'm calling in Ben Hoffman. Come on, Silver. Come on. <laughs> Then you were robbed recently. Sure, How but... How much did you lose? There was over $100 stolen. You want it back? I sure do. Then be at the sheriff's office within an hour. Here. Hey, wait! Come on, Silver, come on! I'll raise you 50. Sure say, Bat. Uh, hey, what in... Bat Fletcher. What the... If you want trouble, slap leather. If you don't, leave that game and come with me. The sheriff, long since freed by his deputy, but still angry, glared at Sheriff Hudson from Kiowa City was grinning in open amusement. So you think it's funny, huh? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I just can't help it. Doggone, every time I think of that masked fella thrown into that cell, I, I gotta laugh. <laughs> but you needn't worry. I'll tell about it. Us lawmen have got to stick together. <laughs> <laughs> so you think it's funny, too, do you? Uh, oh, gosh, no, Sheriff. And what were you <laughs> laughing for? I, I just happened to think of a joke a drummer was telling me down at the cafe. I wasn't thinking about you at all. Honest, I wasn't. You keep still about this, too, Sally. Oh, sure. If you don't, it's your job. You said the masked fellow was a lone ranger, didn't you? It was him, all right. <laughs> then don't get upset. Being jailed by him ain't no disgrace. Mm, Tain't nothing to laugh at, neither. Well, let's forget about it. I wish I knew what to do about Bad Fletcher. Still figure he's your man? Yeah, I do. Trouble is, it ain't nothing more than a hunch. Couldn't prove a thing on him. Well, we can keep him watched. Would you? Sure, if that's what you want. My deputy here can keep an eye on him. Well, now, that'd be fine. Oh, that's all right. You see, with nothing definite to go on, I don't dare stay here too long. If it should turn out Bat ain't the man I'm after, I'd be giving the real crook too much time for his getaway. Uh-huh. So, I... Uh, who's that? Come in. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Howdy, Howdy. 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 You got my money back for me. Thanks a heap. Uh, can I have it now? Hmm? Who told you that? Uh, wasn't it true? It maybe will be, but it ain't yet. Who told you? Well, why, a masked man. Was he lying? A masked man? man? The Lone Ranger. Sheriff, I bet a million it was. Huh? What ben, you... was that fella riding a white horse? Uh-huh, a beauty. And it was him, all right. Now, what do you suppose he's up to now? I can't... Get him there. Uh, what what are you Here's the man you want, Hudson. For robbing the bank? Right. Taint so. I never. The masked man's lying. We'll see about that. You can prove it? I was in Kiowa City the day of the robbery. I saw the trail left by the fellow responsible. I lost it between Kiowa City and Kirkwood. But here's the man you want. Just as I thought. He's framing me. He's just after the reward. I don't take rewards. And the Lone Ranger don't frame nobody. What's that? The, The Lone Ranger? You're looking right at him. But it wasn't me. I tell you honest, I never had nothing to do with that bank holdup. I wasn't anywhere near Kiowa City when it happened. If you weren't, where were you? Uh, right here. Can you prove it? No, but I... Then I'm afraid your story's too thin. Take him, Hudson. He's your prisoner. He should get a good long term in jail for that 200000 he stole. You bet he will. I never. I was in Kirkwood. You said you couldn't prove it. But, but I can now. I was lying. Yes? I couldn't have been in Kiowa City. Because it was me to rob Ben Huffman here the night of the same day. What's that? Yeah. Pretty thin, Bat. That's an old trick, pleading guilty to a minor crime to get out of one more serious. It's so. I still got the cash I took. And I got Ben's watch, too. I'll show you right where I hid it. Good. You heard him, Sheriff. He's confessed. But, uh, but I thought you said he robbed the bank. He didn't. That was a trick to make him confess this other robbery. He had to confess it to establish his alibi. Well, I'll be doggone. Then you don't know who robbed the bank after all. I do. Brad Wallace is bringing him here right now. Look there. That's Bud Lennox with Brad. That's the name he gave you. He's really the Gila Kid. Oh, Gila Kid. It was his trail I followed to Kirkwood. Here he is. And here's the evidence. Open up that valise and you'll find your $200,000. Gold and folding money. 
I reckon it's all there. Brad, you got the wrong fella. I reckon not. But he couldn't have held up the bank and seen the robbery here on the same day. Of course he couldn't. But he didn't see the robbery here. What? He knew as long as it seemed he had nothing to gain by claiming he saw it, you'd accept his word as a truth. And if you did, he had a perfect alibi for the holdup. My thunder. I hadn't seen him when I heard what he told you, but I knew he was lying. When I did see him, I recognized him as the Gila Kid. His horse left the same prints as the bank robber's horse. Last night, Tonto and I found where he'd hidden the money. So you're the Gila Kid? I reckon there ain't no use denying it. Well, he's your prisoner, Hudson. That here is mine. And the masked man gets a reward. No. What's your word? Brad is? made the actual capture. He's entitled to at least a part of that reward money. And he's welcome to my share as well. I never even knew there was a reward. Just $5,000. What? <laughs> Sounds good, eh? But... Oh, but I can't take all of it. Might as well. That masked man meant what he said. But, 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 oh, golly, do you know what that means? It means me and Molly can get married right now. <laughs> Maybe that's what the masked man had in mind. Now, where's he going? There he goes. And the engine's with him. So you'll have to take the whole 5000 Brad. Oh, gone. I try to do him a favor, and he does me a bigger one right back. You're lucky you got him for a friend. Lucky? Chef, that don't say the half of it. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.